okay, well, I forgive you for all the all the shocking things you said about custard, eggs, and wine this morning. Um, if you can drop by our house with some tea, HP sauce, and chocolate refills, all will be forgiven, Jackie. Let's give her a nice big round of applause. And welcome to the screen, Marion Gere. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Bom dia. To the way. Muito bem. Sehr gut. Uh, contigo. Muito bem. Obrigada. Wonderful. Now, I think you're back from China. I'm back from China. Yes, it was already two weeks ago, Carl. Yes, yes. Incredible. And it was it was really amazing uh, talking to you uh, whilst you were over there. Uh, it sounds like you had the most amazing and exotic time and you were boosting up your skill set, weren't you? Doing a bit of Qigong, Tai Chi, that sort of thing? Yes, that's true, Carl. I, I have met my master of Qigong, you know, after five years again, and I have shown him how I practiced. <laughs> and he said... <laughs> Oh, Marian, I think we have to readjust some parts of your Qigong. <laughs> oh, so it, was, it was, yeah, it was good that I have been there. So now I'm fit again and no mistakes anymore. And I feel it already. You know, I do Qigong every morning for 20 oh, minutes, nice. the flow and everything. Yes, so, and it feels differently. You know, you have to do it um, in the correct way. Of course, as it's your master pointed out. Because it's, it looks like, oh, that's so easy, but it looks lovely. But, you know, if you hold the sky, for instance, you have to take efforts. You know, it needs <laughs> it needs uh, force, forza yes, to hold force. the sky. It's yes, not just, of course it does. It's uh, not just uh, like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about what I'm doing later on today. You've got to do it mindfully, haven't you? You've got to apply yourself. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. At the right moment, as you mentioned, Carl, that's true. Yes. And yes. it helps so much. And then, you know, all the meridians can go and, and it's stretched in the organs. You know, it's all about the inner organs, which have to be, you know, you give them space. Mm, like a ma yeah, internal exercise. massage. Yeah, yeah, no, that sounds great. Now, I need to talk to you about this Karate Kid moment you had, though. I mean, going to going to China, and the master says to you, "Okay, proceed," and you have to perform your. Do you call it a routine? What what, yes. what, what it's a routine? It's, it's so a you, routine, and you have different uh, schools of qigong. I well, took now the eight brocades, which is the very classy one, which oh. takes uh, one one going through is six minutes. Yes. And you have to stick on this, uh, you know, on the on the process. You cannot change one with eight and seven with six. You, you have to go from one to eight. Discipline. Discipline. Yes, yes absolutely. Very disciplined, yeah. And with the music, you, were, you know, with the with music. music as well. So th there you were. You were going doing your Qigong routine in front of the yes. master. And I had already in, uh, infected my neighbor. She's American. Right. And here in Portugal, and she hears the music, you know, and she says, oh, this brings me quite, pretty much down. You know, it is nice and easy, and you want to move after you're listening. Maybe we do one session next month. Here. Would love that. Right. Would absolutely love that. And um, were you quite nervous to perform your, your routine in front of the master? Yes. Yeah, because he's yeah. watching, he's, and, and he's seen thousands of people, presumably, and, and understands how the body moves and what the benefits yeah. are of a particular and you movement. Know, yeah. Yeah, and you know, uh, the Chinese are supposed to be indirect, yeah? according to their culture. They are never direct uh, speakers like Germans or US Americans. But this guy, he was really direct, so I was direct. not prepared. Yeah, I was not really prepared. I thought, oh my God, so lots of things to do now. But it worked out. It was worth the money. It was worth the trip. Uh, amazing. I, I'm amazing. thinking like a, a Chinese metaphor of when a German and Chinese person are in the same room. <laughs> it's like... It's like you. It's like you know. Here we see fish on glass. Like it, it doesn't. It, or, or, some, or, or a metaphor of, of, of yeah. you know fish know. on a mirror. You know, mm -hmm. they, they, that know is a culture it, clash, isn't it? It's true. It's a cultural clash. And although I studied Chinese, so I knew already to talk Chinese. Yes. But for being a typical German, aggressive, competitive young lady, twenty-five years old. Yes. Uh, at the Siemens office in Beijing, I was um, too direct to them. And other oh, people wow. who are much more sensitive towards culture, they had, you know, with no Mandarin skills, they were much more interacting and uh, loved by the others, by the Chinese. That's incredible. I would, I, so many vignettes and situations I see in my mind's eye as a movie. 
And I, I would love to see that reenacted, the yangy German, young German woman who wants, who's desperate to learn about Qigong and she wants to, to soak up everything the master has. Yeah. And the master says, no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, exactly. So, you know, I, yes. I had my lessons. I had my lessons, you know, 12 yes. years in China. I learned a lot. Well, we got Jackie. I did Tai Chi. I mean, they, they are different, but we're, we're in the same kind of ballpark, aren't we? Yeah. Many years ago and can do the short form. It's amazing. Huge help for mental and physical well-being. It, tai Chi is a, was a huge help when I moved into Wing Chun too. She does a bit of Wing Chun as well. Wing Chun, I'm not quite sure, Jackie. Uh, maybe you explain this to me. I don't know this one. I know Tai Chi, of course. And yeah. I was talking to the master in Shanghai. So when is the good time to do Qigong? And when are you doing Tai Chi? And you know what he said is that the Tai Chi is better for the older people. Yeah. Older, he meant 80 plus. Because <laughs> they... <laughs> Yes, so, because right. you know you have more legs. You know the knees, the two knees in Chinese uh, philosophy is the first area of your body which age, which yes. ages, it's right? True, yeah. And that's why they put within the Tai Chi more the legs. You know you move more with the legs in the Tai Chi. You basically stand. You make a step to the side, another side. You know, but it's more breathing and Very working good. with Very the chi. So it's uh, so for the for the youngsters who are in their seventies, probably. Yeah. So, so now it's the time for all of you to start Qigong and yep. then we can all do when we are 80, we do the Tai Chi. Exactly. That's a very excellent prescription. Wonderful. OK, so remember in those days when we get there, we'll, say, we'll remember this moment when we when we said that on the Good Morning Portugal show. Well, that's fantastic. Wing Chun, as I understand it, is more martial arts uh, focused mm -hmm. or based and yeah. a lot. It's very popular. Yeah. Um, with a lot of young fellas these days, I think, because it's uh, it's quite yangy. Um, I feel 80 plus, says Jackie. So maybe you should restart the Tai Chi then. Um, maybe, Jackie, you, you you should come to one of my hopefully soon digital Qigong classes, which I'm planning, but I have not set anything in place yet. Well, has that got the blessing of the master, digital Qigong? I mean, how does that does that work okay? No, I was, in, you mean with the master in Shanghai, that was in presence. No, no, I mean, well, you know, I, I'm thinking you, you you say to the master, I've got this idea to to do uh, Qigong digitally. Does that, um, did that did you get the master's blessing for that? Um, he says, don't do it. <laughs> but you're going to ignore him. <laughs> and that, it depends. You know, I let the market decide. If I have so many people asking, oh, you're, you know, Marion, and uh, I always say, first come to my retreats and then you get the introduction. Then you, you, I show you the five main points, how to stand. You know, the standing is the most important in Tai Chi, yeah. uh, in, in, in Qigong. So, yes. And then they can do it by themselves. And usually I have a follow-up call four weeks later and then we can correct everything again. You know, That's you don't stand like this. You stand a little bit like this when you do also the meditation, standing meditation, you know, the yeah. standing tree yes. for 10 minutes every morning. You have oh. to practice this. That sounds it's not great. like yoga, you sit and, you know, oh, easy. It is, uh, you know, you have to stand properly. Yeah, yeah you yoga lightweight. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, that's fascinating. And there's also another scene in the movie where the master and the student are, are entering the digital space, the digital dojo, I, I guess you could call it. Yeah, that's exactly. wonderful. Excellent to catch up with you and your master there. Maybe he'll be on the show one of these days. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it, when you're when you're. It would be fantastic, you know. And you cannot uh, tax his age, you know. I thought, oh, my God, he must be 70, but he looks like 55. And, you know, his body and, and he's so... It's amazing. You, he might he's actually ageless, be you know? He he's might be 180. Ageless. Yeah, he could be, he could be over 100 and we never know. We never right. know. Right, let's turn our attention before we run out of time to spring cleaning, a bit of spring cleaning, not for the house, although, yes, that would work too. Are we looking at somebody's personal – should I, should that be on the screen or is that giving away a little bit of um, data protection? Um, it can be on the screen in a few minutes, Carl. Yeah. I just wanted to introduce the mental spring cleaning. If yes, this is okay. please. This is I'm ready. Discussed. I'm ready for you. <laughs> so, Carl, it is. It is <laughs> <laughs> we do not talk about your apartment, nor about my house. It is, you know, spring cleaning is today mentally. But my house has never been cleaner. Do you know what? I just on. I just before you get started with <laughs> with the wheel of life and spring cleaning, there is something really holistic, though, isn't there? Because I. 
I, I was thinking to myself, I'm nearly 60, and this adulting thing has taken me a really long time to adjust to. And I'm thinking, it's going to be over before I've really got the hang of it. And uh, do all adults feel that secretly inside? You know, this is the tidiest my house has ever been. I, and it's not that tidy, but it's the tidiest it's ever been. I've bought bins, and I use bin liners, and I do all sorts of grown-up things now, and it's never been so well organized. And I'm thinking, that's inner and outer. These things can't be separated, or they can be separated, but it seems to be working on, in a holistic way. You know, I'm mm -hmm. getting more organized in one area. And then that's showing up in, you know, this thing that like Jordan Peterson says, you know, make your bed. All of these yeah. little things are very good habits and they seem to show up, don't they, in a holistic way. Yeah. And, and maybe that's yeah. the best way to approach it. It's it's very interesting, Carl, what you are saying. Um, it's really true with the make your bed. It also were, was during Corona. You remember there were so many reels going on in social media. Make yeah. your bed, uh, uh, although you are working at home and don't use your bed during the day. For you know, people. you have to separate it. But a clean house and a well-organized house is or apartment or space may affect your mental yes. clarity. You know, there are researches and studies about it. Uh, for me, it's okay. I, I'm a bit more, I need it more, but my husband needed less. So we have discussions here, you know. Yeah. But uh, it is true that uh, if the outside is in order and tidy, it has an impact on your mind. And, that, and yes, yeah, that's right. And and that's, that's what's occurring to me. It, and it's easier if you see it like that. If, you, if you're just trying to force yourself with a lot of yang, you know, like I must tidy my house. Uh, you know, and I've got all these chores to do. If you approach it in quite a negative way like that, yeah. it's it's harder. It's like pushing a stone uphill, isn't it? But if it's like, well, actually, this making a tidy workspace, like, you know, I, I, I cleaned up the studio to, to start the week, I think, on Sunday night. So it was nice for me and Mrs. M. And I was I, it was a joy to do. It wasn't a chore. Mm -hmm. It was like I, mm -hmm. I am blessing myself. Mm -hmm. I am blessing us with a clean, efficient workspace. Isn't that a lovely thing? And then I went and did the lawn, strim the lawn, and then the bedroom, and was doing all these things in a totally different, you know, it's like a bit of growing up. It wasn't like, oh, do I have to? And the only person I'm arguing with now my, these days is myself. So that's pretty stupid as well, isn't it, to have a have a struggle with yourself like that. And it seems exactly. to have given, given way to, like, well, these are blessings. These are to tidy up after oneself and to be in a harmonious and clean space is a self blessing. Yeah. And it's also very interesting when you look at your children, when they move out to university or to apprenticeship, so they leave your house yep. and, uh, you know, and usually it was a mess in the yep. kids' rooms, right? Yep. So yep. A bigger mess or minor mess, but it was a mess. <laughs> and then once they have their own, uh, you know, at boarding schools in the UK, a small room and my number one, he's so tidy now. Because, yeah. mom, I have to organize. I have no space. So I have to be very clear, you know, here. And they very do it. Good. Yes. And that's very good. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, wheel of life then. I, I talked about this as the turning the wheel of life in Portugal. As I think you said, we are very blessed and lucky, aren't we, to be in, generally speaking, a pretty awesome and supportive environment for many of the things we want to achieve. Quality of life, as an example, you know, for, for a lot of Americans and in remarking upon how much better the food quality is. So that's another box or another, you know, area of the wheel. Yes. So, yes. so things are going in our favor, but that's not to say there are still might be some areas that need some attention. So can you give us a general overview of the wheel of life, this classic coaching tool? It is a very classy, it's from the eighties, you know, it's a typical classy and still um, um, coaching method uh, which always goes. And it's pretty easy. Everybody can understand it uh, easily. Um, everybody of us has different areas who they have to take care of. No? It mm. can be career. It can be uh, personal growth. It can be health. It can be finance. It's my eight are different to yours. Oh, and okay. your wives and my husbands are different either. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it is... It's springtime, and at springtime, I always think it's an awareness month, April. April gives us a, a chance to be aware and check what is the nature doing. You know, yeah. I'm always reconnecting to the nature. So, and yeah. they are all, everything is growing. So, the question is, what do I want to continue in my life for the year? Or, and what do I want to stop? 
you know, yep. which areas are running very good. So for instance, physical environment, we are all in Portugal or about to move here. That's 10 on a scale from one to 10, 10 is the highest score you can get. I think we are all fine. Mm. Yeah. So, but if you make a, a, a scaling on other areas, uh, for instance, uh, you know, I'm a coach and, and when I hear my clients saying, oh, you know, on my romance dimension, I'm only on a four. Yes. And I'm married, I have children, you know, I have four children here or two, whatever. And I'm okay, you know, with the four or five, you can work and you can live, but it is not something like, ooh, you know what I mean? Yes. So the question is, <laughs> are you are you willing? And this is coaching. Coaching means changing. And this yeah. means working. And the yes. wheel of life is something you are working on. So you have to be open for it. And just say, right. okay. It's not only I have fun and I have good food here and I have a nice apartment and lots of sunshine. Is there more? You know, this is yes. what I'm always asking my my expats here who who moved here. And then they say, actually, after one year, I get a bit boring. You know, oh, interesting. I try all yes. the wine and I and the Portuguese is okay. You know, so but then they got into a you know the euphoric phase in the cultural phase of yes, yes, yes. So you first are. Yes. Woo, you know, sun and people visit, but then the first phase of visitors declined, you know, and yep. not all come back to visit you. So you yes. have to have a affiliation to the area where you are. And this is, could be a dimension for all of us, for all us expats and NHR holders or whatever you call us. Um, what could we do uh, to get on a eight, nine, you know, after the first phase of cultural positive uh, phase has been through? That's very interesting. That, so you, we've got the template, and we'll, and I'll, I'll I'll just put it on the screen in just a moment. I found one which has got all the areas on it, and and you said you know it's different for everybody. I mean the basic areas are the same, aren't they? But people's different scores. Will yes, be usually we have you have to have. I mean this is what people say or research psychologists say. You need roughly um, six, uh, five to seven areas you are working on actively. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Well, let's go back to the areas then. Would you agree? Is this the standard template? So starting at one o'clock, we've got business and career, um, yes. which which if you're retired, I guess, might mean, you know, you're, you might become a mentor or it might be your wealth management, um, yeah. which actually lends itself to the next segment, which is finances. Then there's the all important health, because we talked about qigong and tai chi and knees. Yeah because you need those family and friends um at uh, five o'clock coming around to six o'clock for romance and seven o'clock to eight o'clock personal growth fun and recreation at 10 o'clock and finally your physical environment which um as you said uh, hopefully we're scoring fairly highly because we're in portugal there but you know you might not be that's the point here isn't it it's not about what you should be doing it's about no. what you actually are so in in a session how much time are people spending actually drilling down into these areas and coming up with a score are they doing that alone or are they is that a, a, something you do usually with you? Um, i give the wheel of life to the people uh, in paper or by or digitally and then they yeah. have to score themselves yeah right. and then they see okay where is nine eight where is two or three the areas which they score two or three need to be addressed if yes. they are open and willing to and motivated to change something yeah all right and so that's, see, what, what, that's what that might look like when somebody's got the wheel and they've done their 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 work here. Um, this is what it might look like. And a, a low score on this one is a significant other slash romance. It's, that's marked quite low and personal growth. So that's the area you would focus on. Exactly. Um, because I suppose I, I had a I had a template for health called the champion um system. It was, you know, C was for cleanse, H was for hydrate, and it was lots of what what is it? C H A M P I O N. It was eight areas, yeah. and my 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 um, theory was with health is that you're only as good as the weakest area, because it's fine to focus on the areas where you're scoring highly. Is it the same with the wheel of life? Then, if you if you if you're overlooking or not focusing on the weakest area, that will be undermining you because you're not attending to it. Yeah, and one and one day it will come up. You you know, Carl, we have so many people when the kids move out. Yeah, 55, uh, 60, so the kids leave. So what is left? You have a partner and then there are men looking at their women, at their partner saying, ooh, <laughs> so how could this happen? No, really, I'm kidding. No, I'm not no, actually I'm not kidding. Yeah, or the wife says, oh, my God, yeah. 
well. <laughs> here we are. Here we so, are, though. So here we are. So you can say, okay, you know, we we did twenty five years. We had a great marriage. We have lovely children. We really, we we have some money. We moved to Portugal. But the question is, is it this what you are happy with? And if well, you said so oh, never like change a, a winning team, Carl, never change a winning team, it's okay. Yeah. yeah who, well, hold on a minute. Well, how does that work? Never change your winning team because your team has changed by, by virtue of your lifestyles changed in that situation. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But you have to wanting it. You have to be open and you say, okay, let's go and open up all these habits and patterns and what we have. You know. Let's because go there, Marion. Let's go there right now because in my mind, I've got zero to ten on the significant other romance area. And at zero, it's like that moment you described, the empty nest or whatever. And zero is, ah! And t- ten. Who is this in the room? <laughs> so, ah! That's zero. And ten is like, hmm, hey, exactly. how are you doing? You know, that's that's number ten, isn't it? So if, if, you're, if you're closer to the, ah! <laughs> what, what do you do about that? Do you, I mean, are you coaching people specifically in that? Uh, yes, you, yes. I mean, I mean I'm not a sexual therapist, but I have right. some tools because if you have like, whoo, it's um, <laughs> communication first, you know, that they, okay. they don't communicate anymore. I, I'm sure if you look at your wife or I'm as my husband, he knows yes. without saying anything, he knows what he has to do, <laughs> you know, or if you look, he says, okay, the bell rang, you go, you know, but you yes. don't use so many words anymore because you are a winning team. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, but if we say, hmm, I want to have a little bit more, I want to go direction eight, you know, mm. then this means we have to communicate. What is a very good tool for that is we sit back to back, you know, yep. the partner and the partner back to back. And then just you're taking turns and you just say, speak out loud what your wishes are. My goodness. Not naked, all 100, naked. Are, you, are we, are we uh, naked already or is this fully clothed? Mm, there are there are therapists, they say uh, be naked. Uh, I yes. find it not necessary. It depends, but... Uh, Culturally it appropriate. Because be. it might be just too much. If you're Scandinavian, it would be... I mean, you're probably, you're probably naked anyway because that's not what they do, isn't it? Um, and <laughs> okay. at the supermarket, probably. It depends but, on, it, the, on the nationality. Maybe, I don't know. But it, yeah. uh, they can decide. It, but the yeah. important thing is that you speak it out loudly and yes. because everything what you can speak out can be changed. Ah, you know, very this, is, this is okay. the idea behind. And, yes. uh, and you don't look into the eyes in this moment because it's your wish and you let it out. You try to let it out. And the other one, just listens, you yes. know, and yes. he does not, or she does not judge it or comment it or something. They just hear it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. And then you do it maybe once a week and then uh, you can develop, you know, then you have hopefully on a nine, one year later or six yes. months later, uh, you can have a date night. Very good. Very good. Happens, okay. you know, this, but it is a working process. You are not jumping from a two to a nine within one month. No, no, okay. Um, that would be a bit much to ask for. Now, th- this is very interesting. So, yeah, it's a, it's a gradual process. It begins yeah. with identification and is followed by communication by the sound of it. So yes. you, you recognize that something is um, not as you would ideally like it. And, and I think it's, like you said, not to be judgmental. It's important, isn't it, to just be aware rather yeah, it's than awareness, too, too, you know? too judgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. April is the awareness month. And is that right? Yeah, I, I read it yesterday. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it was from the UK. It was an article in the UK. April yeah. for awareness, maybe also stress awareness. However, it's, you know, um, today I would like to um, make a point in go and score your life. You know, yeah. take your four or five dimensions. So where do you stand? Make a photo, you know, take a photo. This is me today, April, yes. end of April. What right. is good, you know? Five, six, seven is all fine. You don't have to do anything. And there are, but the majority of people is in this area, you know, mm. luckily. And the minority is somewhere with one or two dimensions a bit low. All right. Well, that's <laughs> excellent. You, you've addressed the um, sort of significant other romance area. What's what's often, what, what would you say, uh, generally speaking, is something that comes up for, for the foreigners, the expats and people of our generation, if you like? What's the other area of general area of weakness, would you say? It is once they are retired, it is uh, the emptiness. 
Oh, what meaning? The search for meaning and self-actualization. Yeah, but also, you know, I know everything. And yeah. now I get my pension and I get my money. Um, yeah. And I have fun. I do something for my body and for my, uh, I do meditation. But there is uh, content, you know. Yes, me, uh, meaning is the word that comes to mind for me. Now, yes. Th yes, this, this exactly. sort of connects us to the very notion of personal development. I mean, that's what we're talking about, isn't it? It's like you spent all these years, you know, being the householder, if you like, and bringing up a family, if you like, or working. People who, who, who didn't have a family situation were probably busy working. And retirement it looms and then becomes a reality and may be positioned here in Portugal for many people in our, in our community. So that's the thing. We're talking about the general area, are we, of personal development yes. and finding meaning, yeah. in, meaning in life because uh, that's meaning, now possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I'm a, a fan of the word lifelong learning. Yes. Imagine our uh, life expectancy, if we especially live here in Portugal, it is over 80, 85, easy for men and, and female. Right. Male and female. There's no doubt about that. If you look at some areas, okay. But uh, what keeps you away of not learning something new at 55? Mm. Yeah, that's always the main question what I have for my clients. What yeah. keeps you away of learning Portuguese? You know, lots of them starting, but then mm, you, are, you know, it is hard. Yeah? Yes, but, it gets difficult and then they, they give up perhaps. Yeah. And, and many of us give up, don't they? So what are you suggesting there then? The, the, the reason why they gave up might be a clue to other areas of their life even. There general, are mainly uh, they are missing, uh, you know, the the they are the small wins are missing. Oh, okay, all right. You need you you do something and you put efforts in and time, maybe some money, and then nothing comes out. You know, there's a return on investment thing, and we yeah. are trained like return on investment. Okay, I try and then I give me a goal setting one year, and then I will be fluent or B one B two level uh, in Portuguese. It does not uh, manifest, so I stop. Right, and then that adds that might compound people's feeling of uh, fulfillment or self-esteem, even possibly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, I think first of all, if we are, uh, including myself, if we stop thinking in a return on investment perspective, mm -hmm. is um, might be a good idea, you know. And that's why I always have uh, the idea of what about mentoring. Yes. You mentioned it already. Mentoring yeah. is that someone knows more than the mentee. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and we, we know a lot of things, you know, and we can, uh, where's your passion? Where can you maybe help other people, younger people, uh, to, and support them once a month? Yes. And it's a tap. Days. It's a giving to others once denied the uh, avenue of the workplace is like turning a tap off, isn't it? And having exactly, a, a, a exactly. hose, a garden hose under intense pressure. And, and you know, uh, it, it, yeah. And it's also proven that if you are elevating others, it elevates you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So and there's a nice, is, there's a nice little outlet and avenue possibly for that sort of frustrated um, knowledge or, or gift that you have that is not expressed anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it is important, and you, you, uh, we, we all did our, we all followed our profession. And there are lots of things you can give to other people. But I'm also uh, would like to highlight the reverse mentoring. You know, I'm using lots of young people from Germany or from Austria who helped me uh, in the digital um, area. Yeah. Because I'm not as good as they are. You know, in social media, my Insta channel. Oh my God! You know. So I said, oh, no, I want to learn from younger. So this is called reverse yeah, mentoring. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. That's great. It shouldn't. It shouldn't necessarily know it um, be based on age, should it? It's about yes. mer meritocratic rather than a, a chronic. Exactly. It, it is more. Yeah. It is. We are, we're running knowledge. out of time here. We're running yeah. out of time. We'll find out how people can work with you, of course, before we go. But we've got some nice feedback. Um, well, I say nice feedback. I feel eighty plus. <laughs> um, is that in terms of wisdom or physicality? I wonder. Uh, my knees are sad. Let's see if we can cheer them up. Um, in, in the future, Nubianet. Carl, please let us know if the digital is available. Would be great. And thanks, Marion, for your lovely interview. So there's Jackie who's interested in your digital version of the Qigong. I need new knees and you need a couple, says uh, Jackie as well. Uh, I need new knees. Without surgery, I'm forced to get very fit now. My muscles will have to compensate 
not the worst diagnosis. Okay, Nubianet walking around Portugal will help with all those hills. Move to Cobia, Nubianet. You'll soon have the legs of a mountain goat. There are a few gradients below 30 degrees. <laughs> um, I'll have to strengthen my muscles first. Can't do stairs and hills now. I recently tore my meniscus in my good knee. Oh, no. Uh, Portugal's got all them hills because in 1143, it broke from Spain and took all the land with it and piled it up to make the mountain ranges. Well, I've never heard that geological theory before, but it makes sense to me. Uh, Jackie, I had to postpone my trip to Europe because of my knee. Oh, sorry to Ooh, hear about this. Uh, sorry. Yeah. But we'll see what we can do to help. Uh, Ian, we've got uh, Marion as well. Ian points out hills and stairs are resistance training and it's very healthy. Portugal and France were great for that on my last trip. But we have elevations where I live too. And I grew up in the Welsh Valleys where the rain hits you sideways, not from above because of the mountains. So I'm getting mobility or an e-scooter for Portugal. Yes, well, why not? And retirement, this is a good point from Erica. Retirement in Portugal yeah. is such a gift. Never take it for granted. And the thing is, what I wanted to say about that, oh, and also uh, here, thank you, James, meaning, purpose, and loneliness are three huge issues for later life and leaving a job. If you do feel like you're taking it for granted or the sparkle and the magic is not there and you're ranking a two or a three on the wheel of life, I don't think it's very helpful for people to feel self-judging or like ashamed of that right it just means no. that there's a little bit of work to do possibly mm -hmm. and this but this uh, they, everybody knows it that coaching or changing needs work and it is a, a long process mm. and that's why it's so many people say mm, it's not that bad it's okay i can live on it you know yes. next year next yes. year i will change you know ah mm. very good marion so here's your prompt it's april and it's uh, Awareness Month. If you're aware of a little bit of a, oh, I don't know, more of a, ah, or more than a, hmm, then maybe now is the time to take action on that. Because I think that's what you're suggesting. You know, let's not put it off for another year. Life is life is for living. Just as uh, uh, this lovely lady at uh, My Beautiful Country says, busy day ahead, stay cool, stay safe, stay happy. Life's too short not to be happy. So anything in that area that's a two or a three maybe there's the time has come to do a little bit of work on that and you can you're happy to support people they can connect with you can they at walksperia.com yes hello at walksperia.com is okay. the email or walksperia.com is the website there you Please. Go. and gmp listeners get of course the first session for free do they? I didn't even know that, but how kind of you to do that. That's excellent. So a free one-to-one -one with Marianne yes. Gale here. Yes. She's fresh back from China, having been assessed by the master. Quite an incredible <laughs> story, which will one day be a film, I hope. <laughs> Learn, <laughs> learning a new language can address all those issues. So there you go. There's another reason to learn Portuguese and deal with all of those things of meaning purpose and loneliness uh, learning portuguese enrolling in a class taking it steady as, as marion says you know rome wasn't built in a day and portuguese won't be learned in a year it's a lifelong learning matter as yes. are so many of all the best things in life marion always fun and informative to talk to you we'll see you on the next chill out tuesday i hope yes see you then oh, thanks right, for having me great, i suspect you're gonna have a great day uh, but i wish you a I good will. day Take care and bye for now. Bye bye. And we shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now.